Hello and welcome to Gadget Guide USA. Thanks for watching my submersible LED diving flashlight uh, with rechargeable battery and charger is included. And let's go ahead and get started. As you can see, uh, I've pulled it out of, I wouldn't call this retail packaging. I actually ordered this directly from China. Uh, probably not something I'd recommend due to the shipping time. You can purchase it on Amazon and eBay and stores like that. Uh, it was pretty much just a, a plain brown box, so we'll go ahead and get rid of that. Uh, and it was a, it came with the flashlight. Uh, there is a 18650 battery inside. Uh, as you can see, I just turned it on. You just spin it to turn it off. Uh, it comes with this wrist strap here. Uh, in addition, it comes with the actual battery charger. Um, so we'll go ahead and start talking about the physical characteristics. The battery charger, I mean, it's, I mean, it's, it's definitely nothing special. Uh, I wouldn't describe it as well made, but uh, you know, it's not poorly made. It has a spring there, and you slide your 18650 battery. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and just grab it. Uh, as you can see, it all comes apart, and we'll go talk about the. And this is a 18650. Uh, there's, uh, it's kind of a downside the fact that you have this battery, uh, simply because you can't just walk into say a Best Buy or a brick and mortar and buy them. Uh, you can order them online; they're relatively cheap, so that's a, a you know, that's a plus, I guess. Uh, and all you would is slide that in there like that. Make sure the contacts are touching there, uh, and uh, you have that right there. Uh, so then you would just go ahead and plug this right in. Uh, it should work fine. Uh, I've already actually charged it using this charger, uh, so uh, there shouldn't be any no, it shouldn't be any issues with it. A 18650 battery. Uh, we'll go ahead and look at the flashlight itself. If you can see here, it actually has a plastic sleeve all the way around uh, that goes directly to this piece of glass, and that's to ensure that it's a you know a solid interior unit and doesn't leak. Uh, here is the actual LED. Uh, that is a Cree XML T6 LED. Um, it's listed as a maximum at 900 lumens. Uh, I put it right next to a flashlight that I have that says it's an actual uh, 600 lumens, and this was almost exactly the same. So I would I would estimate that it outputs at a realistic uh, 600, maybe a 550 lumens uh, using the 18650 battery. Uh, as you can see, this is just a pretty much a, just a solid plastic uh, inside with a uh, weatherproof sleeve inside there. Uh, in addition, it has these O-rings right here, and what that is is when you screw this on, uh, those O-rings provide a nice uh, watertight seal. Uh, there is no on-off switch. Uh, you basically just put the battery in just like that and screw this down, and it'll turn on once you screw it all the way, if I can get it there. As you can see, the threads are pretty tight, um, and that's to probably ensure that it's waterproof. Um, like I said, it's really bright. I would. It says the XM uh, the, or the T6 outputs 900 lumens. I'm not going to believe that's 900 lumens. Uh, like I said, I put it right next to a flashlight at about 600 lumens, and that's what I would say it is. Uh, but I don't have one of the the sphere testers or whatever to make it exactly sure. Uh, so, uh, and it does include this wrist strap here. Uh, the wrist strap is uh, going to fit most wrists. I have an abnormally large wrist. Uh, and it still fits mine and what you do is you just kind of set it here. Uh, the flashlight has a strap on it. We're going to go ahead and put it through there, run it through there. Uh, not so great with the left hand here. And I have that strapped really tight. Uh, so, and then it sits here like this. We can screw this on. Uh, I will admit that it's a little bit wobbly on the wrist strap here. If I can get that to stay on. Uh, I'm not left-handed, if you can't tell, uh, so I probably should have put this on my left hand in the first place so I can operate with my right hand. Uh, but you have a little wrist strap. If you shake it around there, I mean, it does have some give, uh, but it does do the intended purpose. It does stay on to you. It's pretty safe. Uh, oh, I forgot this in the beginning. There's also an additional wrist strap here, uh, which is a regular wrist strap, and it has this tip here. Uh, I took it off because uh, I'm actually already done a water demo. I've submerged it in water. I let it sit there for over 20 minutes. Uh, but at the very end of this video, what we're going to do is a water demo. I'm just going to submerge it into a little bucket of water I have over there. Uh, just so you know, so we can see the water resistance for itself. And uh, so, as you can see, that just attaches there just like that. Uh, so that, I would call this, I would refer to this as the dry strap. Uh, that would probably be convenient to use and you can tighten it down. That would probably be convenient to use uh, for dry scenarios. Uh, for wet scenarios, or if you're actually scuba diving, like it says T6, it shows a little generic scuba diver here. Uh, this might be a little bit better, uh, but it does work. Uh, but it does work. Uh, the wrist strap, it's comfortable, uh, but like I said, you saw how it wobbled a little bit. Really not the end of the world, but it's definitely something worth mentioning. 
Uh, I did not pay. I, I or I ordered this directly from China. I did not pay much at all. Uh, it's you can buy it for about three or four more dollars than I paid for it directly from eBay. I would probably almost definitely uh, recommend that to the average consumer. Waiting three weeks for a flashlight isn't very cool. Uh, you turn it on and off. I wish it had an on-off switch. Uh, you turn it on and off by a slow rotation there. Uh, once you get it to right about here, it turns off. Uh, it doesn't leak even when it's open a little bit because it has, you saw those two additional O-rings up here to prevent leakage. Uh, but a little bit of water will get in there. Uh, so it doesn't really affect its operation. I've already actually water tested this multiple times. I tried it in uh, my sink here in my studio in addition to a water bucket. I don't have any lakes to test, but trust me, I will be putting this through the paces as the summer goes on on my canoe trips. Uh, I just don't have that availability right now. As you can see, I just have this bucket of water here and I have my flashlight on and I'm going to go ahead and remove this string. I don't want to get it all wet and have to clean it. Uh, well, if I can do that. All right, and then we have it here. We're going to fully submerge it. I mean, it still works fine. I'm going to shake it vigorously. I really don't want to get my all wet. Now we're going to open it a little uh, just to make sure. All right, so we've opened it more than it does when it's off, and now I'm going to submerge it again. Give it a good shake. And this is just to see if any water gets inside enough while it's unscrewed uh, to actually stop operation. And then I'm gonna go ahead and screw it back on and it still works, everything's fine. Uh, so, I mean, it, it does work as designed. It is fully submersible. Uh, it says it's submersible up to 50 meters. As you can tell, I haven't really tested that. I don't have any uh, 50 meter deep water to test it out with, but I sure am going to take it at least 10 or 12 feet deep, uh, probably along with my GoPro camera over the summer. Uh, maybe I'll go ahead and make a video of that in a couple months. I do hope you enjoyed my product review today. Subscriptions are always appreciated. Thank you. Comments are always welcome at the bottom of the page. And if you have any specific questions, comments, or suggestions, please email me at gadgetguideusa at gmail.com. Thank you for your time. Welcome to Gadget Guide USA. Thanks for watching my submersible LED diving flashlight uh, with rechargeable battery and charger is included. And let's go ahead and get started. As you can see, uh, I've pulled it out of, I wouldn't call this retail packaging. I actually ordered this directly from China. Uh, probably not something I'd recommend due to the shipping time. You can purchase it on Amazon and eBay and stores like that. Uh, it was pretty much just a, a plain brown box, so we'll go ahead and get rid of that. Uh, and it was a, it came with the flashlight. Uh, there is a 18650 battery inside. Uh, as you can see, I just turned it on. You just spin it to turn it off. Uh, it comes with this wrist strap here. Uh, in addition, it comes with the actual battery charger. Um, so we'll go ahead and start talking about the physical characteristics. The battery charger, I mean, it's I mean, it's, it's definitely nothing special. 